How to use the HP Design Jet Z6 Pro and Z9 Plus Pro 64-inch printers. This video shows how to use your HP DesignJet Z6 Pro or DesignJet Z9 Plus Pro printers. We will explain how to switch on the printer, understand the main components of the printer, how to use the front panel, how to replace an HP Eco Carton ink cartridge, how to load paper using automatic loading or assisted loading, how to use the multifunctional roll as take up reel while printing and before printing, how to print from the queue. How to switch the printer on and understanding its main components. In the front of the printer you will see the main components. At the rear of the printer you will find the gigabit ethernet port, the USB port, and the power socket. On the front panel, use the power switch to turn the printer on and off. How to use the front panel. The front panel is a full-color, touch-sensitive screen with a graphical user interface. The front panel has icons and information that you can use to operate the printer. Tap the home icon to return to the home page, tap the question mark to view help about the current page, tap the arrow to go back to the previous page. Swipe across the screen to access the menus. Swipe the front panel to reach the apps page, which displays a list of all the apps available in your printer. Swipe the front panel to go to the supplies page. Here, you can see the status of the ink and paper supplies at a glance. Swipe down to go to the status center. This displays alerts related to the main functions of the printer. How to replace the HP Eco Carton ink cartridge. On the front panel, tap on inks, then tap replace and follow these directions to replace the HP Eco Carton ink cartridges. First, push on the HP Eco Carton ink cartridge that you want to remove. The old HP Eco Carton ink cartridge releases, and you can take it out. Ensure that the color of the label on the new cartridge matches the colored label below the empty slot in the printer. Shake the color cartridge in all directions for 10 seconds. Insert the HP Eco Carton ink cartridge into the correct slot and push on it until it locks into position. The message on the front panel display will confirm that all the ink cartridges are correctly inserted. How to load media. Keep the basket closed throughout the loading process. There are two ways to load the paper. You can use auto feed or assisted feed. When the multifunction roll accessory is installed, paper loading and skewing are fully automatic. Go to the front panel and tap paper. Then select your paper type and loading method. Tap auto feed. Open the spindle. Locate the lever and pull it up to release the hub. Move the hub to the left. Place the paper roll in the printer, move the hub to the right, and pull the lever down to close the hub. Close the spindle. Or you can choose the assisted feed method. Go to the front panel and tap paper. Select the paper type. Tap assisted feed. Open the loading table. Locate the release lever and pull it up to release the hub. Move the hub to the left. Position the paper, move the hub to the right and pull the lever down to close the hub. Close the spindle. Insert the paper into the paper feed area. Use the wheel on the right side to feed the paper into the printer until you see it in the print zone. How to use the multifunctional roll as a take-up reel, attaching while printing. Prepare at least three tape pieces to fix the paper to the core. Open the take-up reel. Send the job to print. Wait until the job is about to reach the core in the take-up reel. Have the pieces of tape ready. When the job reaches the core, use the tape to fix them. It is recommended to start at the center of the job. Remember to avoid as many wrinkles and bubbles as possible, with paper rolling straight. Once attached, roll the job until there is tension in the paper. Check that the job is rolled as straight as possible. Close the take-up reel. Keep rolling the job to indicate to the motor the direction until it starts rolling automatically. Finish rolling the job. After the take-up reel stops spinning, the job is ready to be extracted. How to use the multifunctional roll as a take-up reel, attaching before printing. It is important to disable the cutter before you attach the paper to the take-up reel. Attaching the paper to the take-up reel before printing leads to the wastage of the material. Go to the front panel and tap on paper, then tap the settings icon. Tap on output options. Select cutter. Disable the cutter using the option feed and cut to move the paper until it reaches the take-up reel. Prepare at least three tape pieces of sticking tape to fix the paper to the empty core. 
Press and rewind the advance paper icon to advance paper to get the paper end in line with the core. Close the take up reel loading table. Define the spinning direction with the gear on the right side. When you've finished, tap on feed and cut option to cut with the cutter. How to print from the job queue. You will now see how to print a job from the queue and from the history queue. While the printer is waiting for nesting to time out, it displays the remaining time on the front panel and in the embedded web server's job queue tab. The up next box shows the next jobs that are waiting in the queue. The now printing box shows the job or jobs that are currently printing. In between the up next box and the now printing box is the nesting box. If you click on the nesting box, the jobs will be nested. The nesting box will display a countdown to the time when the jobs will start printing. Click the Playlists tab in YouTube to find HP videos in other languages. And search our channel to find official HP support videos.